in everything you do, uh, you have to be loyal. Loyal is a two, loyalty is a two-way street. SIU has been very loyal to me. They've given me an opportunity for 21 years now, going on 22, to do exactly what I want to do, which is coach baseball at a great institution. That's the newly named Saluki head baseball coach Ken Henderson on loyalty. And after 21 years as the SIU assistant baseball coach, he knows a thing or two about loyalty. That is a, a huge thing for me, and uh, uh, I don't think you can have success if you're not loyal. Before coming to SIU in 1991, Henderson spent time in various coaching positions with Kansas State and Oral Roberts Baseball before a close friend told him about an opening at SIU. Jim Hendry, who uh, is the GM for the uh, Chicago Cubs, was the head baseball coach at Creighton University at the time and was a very, very good friend of mine and uh, obviously was in this league and said, hey, Southern Illinois University just got a new coach. Uh, that was when uh, Coach Jones left to go to Illinois and Sam Riggleman, the assistant at the time, was uh, given the head job and anyway said uh, they have an assistant's job open. Maybe I can help you with that. And uh, I applied, interviewed, and got the job. Henderson's first interview at the university was with legendary coach Richard Itchy Jones's successor, Sam Riggleman. It was the first time he set foot in the state of Illinois. But the Oklahoma native knew right away Southern Illinois is where he wanted to be. That, that was my first impression, I guess, is that, uh, boy, this reminds me of home, and I think it would be a good fit, and, and it has been. And uh, I, I love the area. I love the people, and uh, this is home. This is home. After only a few years on staff, Henderson was tabbed as the interim head coach after Riggleman's midseason resignation, but after just 20 games, was returned to the assistant role following the hiring of late head coach, Dan Callahan. I got. I mean, to be honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I knew Cal a little bit, but not well. And uh, uh, fortunately, he kept me on as an assistant. And uh, and uh, as I look back on it now, what a blessing. Henderson had several opportunities after that point to take head coaching positions at other schools, but his friendship developed with Callahan, and his loyalty built for the program. So Henderson wasn't going anywhere. I thought uh, being here and, and working with him as an assistant was a much more attractive job to me than being a head coach in a lot of other programs. Uh, he let me do my thing. He let me coach the hitters. Uh, it, was, uh, it was more of a partnership between he and I. The years passed with Callahan leading the program and Henderson as his right-hand man, both on and off the field. We thought we were going to be together uh, doing this for a long, long time. and. Uh, he thought that, and, and uh, that's the way we approached it. And so, uh, you know, he was uh, he was my best friend. I mean, I, I worked uh, 15, 20 feet from him for uh, for all those years, and uh, we talked about everything. We traveled together recruiting and, and all those bus trips. And it's been eight months since Callahan lost his battle with a rare form of skin cancer, and Henderson says Cal never leaves his memory. Not a day goes by that I don't uh, that I don't miss Cal and. Uh, and think about him and uh, you know hopefully that never changes um, he was such a great influence on my life and uh, that's uh, that's something I'm very thankful for so uh, it was uh, it was and still is uh, 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 something that uh, I, I struggle with SIU Athletic Director Mario Mocha says Coach Cal's legacy will live on with Henderson and Saluki baseball. You know, we certainly would like to memorialize him and maybe some of the other greats in the program, but certainly, you know, we want to take care of Dan's memory and we're constantly thinking about ways to do that and, you know, we'll unveil that at the proper time, but, you know, Dan doesn't leave our thoughts too much because he was a pretty special guy. And it's because of Coach Cal's guidance and friendship that Henderson says he is now ready to be a successful head baseball coach. The main thing that he taught me is how to treat people. He was a, a phenomenal, phenomenal person in terms of uh, just treating people right. And uh, whether it be sending a thank you note or a congratulatory note or or just saying hi to someone. And uh, I am now, I think, in my mind, prepared to be a head coach. I don't know if I was five years ago or ten years ago or fifteen years ago when some of those other opportunities may have come along. Henderson has showed incredible loyalty to Saluki Baseball and to the Southern Illinois community over the past 21 years and says it will continue as he leads Saluki baseball. I'm very passionate about this university and this baseball program and, uh, and have been for it started started 21 years ago. For River Radio Sports, I'm David Aide.